Hello, this is Duncan Fowler and this is tutorial booklet 2, uh, Intermediate. And we're going to be looking at uh, using uh, labels uh, and flow items. Uh, looking at the problem of routing, of, uh, processing and purposes and priorities. So really quickly we'll look at the model, uh, it's quite a, quite a basic model, source with a queue, the queue obviously uses a transport, uh, an operator to uh, take parts to three processes and then we have a sync. Uh, we're going to have an exponential um, distribution, uh, the queue is going to um, uh, uh, send parts to, to the three processes. Uh, we'll be setting up the uh, the processes so that um, we're using the S key because uh, we're going to be using the use operator for setup and also use operator for process as well. And then we're going to come up with a little problem and we'll talk that through when we uh, get there. Um, and then we're going to look at how to solve that problem by using something called priorities. So we have uh, the option to uh, prioritize certain um, um, tasks. We're then going to uh, add a second operator into, into the, um, the model and we're going to introduce dispatchers or a dispatcher and we're going to look at alternative ways of uh, doing the same thing with two operators but with, without a dispatcher um, we can simply connect the operators together um, or we can decide we're going to use a, um, a, a, a variable um, OPT1 uh, and do it that way. Um, it's really whichever best suits yourself and works really. Okay, so let's uh, move over to Flexim. Okay, we're in uh, Flexim now. I'm going to change seconds to minutes and uh, start modeling. So we know we need a source. Q, three processors, going to have a little bit of a gap, uh, using F key to copy, two more, there we go, and then we want a sync at the end, and join them up using an A key, remember if, um, if you want to be a little bit quicker you can hold down the shift key here, drag it around those three, they go red, and you can use an A key from the queue to the processor one, and it'll join the other, so up and from processor one to the sink. And to get rid of the red boxes, use the shift key somewhere in space and just draw a little box, a generic box. We want an operator, and we want to connect uh, the operator to the queue using a S key. And uh, let's open up the source and change the uh, inter arrival time to exponential 20. And you could literally just change it there. And this uh, should um, be the same as just going here exponential and changing it 20 there and applying. So it's the same thing. Now let's uh, apply and say okay and let's go to the queue. Uh, we know we want to use transport for uh, objects going from the queue, so we're going to use the uh, we're going to use the operator. So we we'll go to the floor tab uh, and change that to um, uh, you, you know, use transport. Uh, it's currently set as first available, so it'll send objects to uh, processor one. Speed that up a little bit. There we go. Come on. Let's start seeing some objects. There we go. Okay, so it's a uh, reset. And uh, we're going to change the processor. And we have a setup time of 10. And uh, we have the, um, we want to use the operator and we want the processor time to be 20. Um, so we just want it to set up and then walk away and get another, another object. 
So let's apply that and say OK. And let's reset and run. Let's get some parts coming in. And it crashes. OK. And the reason for its crashing is you can see what uh, there's an issue with uh, processor one. And the reason for that is we've asked it to set up the time as the setup time to be 10 and use an operator, but we've not connected the operator to um, the center board. So let's just close that, reset, close that, and hold down the S key and connect the operator to this. And we know we're going to repeat this, so might as well get it done and do that. Um, so let's uh, change these. Uh, so it's 10. Use the operator and it's 20. Apply. Click on the little arrow at the bottom. Go to press. Just missed it. 10, use operator 20, and apply it and OK. Reset and run. Wait for parts to start appearing. Um, OK. So he's running a bit fast for our model. I'm just going to slow him down so he can see one of the problems we're having. So I just want to speed it. So he's, I'm going to go really slow him down so uh, you can see what problem, create the problem, and then we can work out how to solve it. So, so you can, uh, so he's doing okay now. He's uh, going over. And what's, what's happening is uh, see if it's better doing it by step. So step, oh, a box appears, so a message. Imagine you've got a list of jobs to do. And if, uh, that job has been, uh, a, a box has appeared, go and get the box. So let's go to the box, pick it up, go and take it to the first available uh, processor, which is processor one. As um, soon as you put it on there, the next thing in his job to do list is to set that up, uh, which is fine. He sets it up. Uh, it's gone along, it's done it, uh, it's been processed, it's, no box has appeared yet. Go to the keep stepping as things start moving, another box appears, which uh, so it gets a, a to do list job, go and get the box. He picks it up and he goes to uh, processor one because that's free, and it starts processing, he's set it up, he's processed, and another box appears, he picks a box up and it goes along a uh, set up and another box has appeared it goes along now you can see what's happening is it's stopped halfway through because another box has appeared now his to-do list says go and pick that box up and transport it and then in the next thing in his to-do list is go and get the next box and transport it but if you sort of think of the logic he's come he's picked that box up and he's going to uh, processor two, and that processor wants him to um, do the setup. But in his to-do list, his next thing he needs to do is go and get that box. But logic would say, while you're there, set up. But at the moment, that's not true because I see what's on, it's blocked. Now it's waiting for an operator to set that up. So let's go step. You can see he's gone for the box, which it, uh, is not logical. Picked it up and it's taking it to three. And in his to-do list is to go here to processor two and set up. Then come back as long as no other box appears. So, uh, so, look, so that's blocked now because it's waiting for him to set up. But he's been told to go over there. So he goes over there, sets up. Uh, then he comes back over here sets up 
another box appears so he will just keep pressing this so he picks up that box he's gone over he's uh, no box appears so he can set up and it, it works to a point but what happens every now and again we get this um, situation where we get a blockage it's going to happen now because uh, he's over here he's setting a box but he's been told to go and get another box so let's have a look so there you go so every every, every now and again it's pretty on run shift up and a bit faster now every, every now and again we're going to get this yellow box appear so it's a little it's not perfect so what we're going to do go to processor one and the setup is important so we um we want to give it a priority so let's say that this processor anything this processor does has a priority and uh if we want it to be more important than this queue and that's true for all the processors so if we now do one and one If we reset, um, and we'll do the step, so it works fine. Still okay. Want the second box to appear. There we go. So what would happen? He picks up, takes it to processor two. If we haven't got priority, he's got here. But in its to-do list, this box uh, takes precedence. But this processor 2 has a priority over the queues transport so he should stay there and set up and then go and get uh, the new box so there it is uh, we've now not got a blockage and so that seems to be working fine the only reason we get a blockage now is uh, uh, here in the queue when it's waiting for things Okay, so let's reset. I'm going to unconnect uh, the uh, uh, operator from the, the queue. Uh, so to do that, um, we use a queue key. If I'm honest, sometimes this works and sometimes this doesn't for me. Uh, yeah, it's not. So the my next option is to uh, go to the properties window general center port it seems to be slowing down that isn't uh, oh yes it is uh, it's a queue I want to delete and then say okay just move this to a little bit to the side here and I'm going to bring a bit dispatcher in there and I'm going to bring a second operator in there I'm going to connect the uh, the dispatcher using an S key and then the dispatcher to the operators using an A key. So it's reset and run can see that uh, a lot of the times it's all to do with the uh, operator one it's probably because uh, it's first available so it's sharing okay that's one way of using uh, multiple operators let's try another way let's get rid of uh, the uh, dispatcher and let's do an S key for um, the Q to operator one and then an A key from uh, operator one to two 
and then run the model again. And that works in a similar fashion. Another way of doing as the same thing is to just go to the properties window of the kit, this operator. And go to general and I'm going to get rid of that queue. And we can go to uh, global variables. Uh, depending on what version of Flexium you've got, if you've uh, not got um, the license that's got a hundred uh, and you're just using a trial version, this uh, global variable feature might not be there. Let's change our variable to OPT1. And let's change it. We want to look at the uh, the tree, the, uh, the, the, the objects in the scene, which uh, this allows us to get access to. And we, we only need operator one because operator two is connected to operator one. Uh, if they weren't connected, you could uh, connect them, uh, select them there. And apply and OK. So we have a variable called OPT1. So if we ever type in OPT1, it's like saying get operator 1. And with operator 1 comes his friend operator 2. So if we go here to the queue uh, and floor, currently set to center, but if we start typing O uh, P T, there it is, it comes up, so it's it's working out what it is. And apply it and say okay. Reset and run. So they're they're working quite well. One thing you might get a little bit um, uh, unhappy with is all these lines appearing all over the place. The more complicated your model, all these connections we do become quite um, um, make, it, make it kind of messy. And maybe at the end, when you want to display this, you might want to switch those off. Uh, so the way to do that is go to views, uh, view settings. So we've got short connections here, so we can un unselect them, so it looks a little bit nicer. And uh, we've got other features as well. Um, and you could put a floor plane in there if you want. Switch off the snaps, so it's a little bit of visuals in here. Let's go back here, stop, and these processors I've, are all using the center port to the operator one. We could delete that uh, on all of them. And go to process and this current uh, and change that to OPT one. There we go. And go back one. Possibly should have just copied and pasted this. And go to the first processor and just paste that in. So reset run. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what, what we've done there is we've uh, learned about the issue of uh, using priorities. We've looked at um, global variables, giving objects a variable name like OPT1 and calling that up. And uh, we've had a quick look at uh, the, the, um, uh, the view settings within Flexim. Uh, hopefully that's been uh, useful to you. Thanks a lot for listening.